Hello, and welcome to Really Random Rants, the show where we do just that. I'm Coffee Cheetah. And I'm Spit Alex. And we are the Random, Random People. We, once again, are missing Dr. Solo. But today we're doing a really interesting um, uh, episode about a really interesting character. One that, honestly, I don't know much about him. Yeah, this is Green Arrow. Um, we're doing facts. Now, some facts might be from Arrow, but probably not. We're mainly sticking to Green Arrow, not Arrow or Green Arrow from the show Arrow. We also have a live audience in the background, so... No, we don't. Stop it. Alright, so... um, Let's okay. see, let's start off with a really, really big fact. And these are facts you might not know. So if you don't know anything about the character, uh, then... Kudos to you? Yeah. Wait. But just to let you know... what that means. Just to let you know, Green Arrow is an archer. So if you don't know that... You might want to do some research about him first. Slap! And then, so pause and watch this. Slap! But if you know about him, at least basic stuff, then here we go. Let's get started. Hey, is that okay? Uh, yeah, it will be fine. Okay. Still. Okay. First, random, really random fact, actually. Uh, he was created as DC's, that's Detective Comics, substitute for Batman. And that's something I didn't know till just now. Yeah, that's 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 a brand new fact to us, okay? So, if you ever wondered what would happen if Batman was gone from the DC universe, this is it. Um, he was created in 1940 by Morden Weisinger and George Papp. Oliver Queen, that's a secret identity, was first introduced into the DC Universe in issue number 73 of More Fun Comics because publishers were nervous about relying too heavily on Batman and Superman in their comics. Which is a, which is a reasonable worry because, yeah. you know, they were. <laughs> They still are a little bit. Yeah. With Batman being such a successful and popular character, the publishers wanted a hero that was close enough to Batman in order to give the readers the same sense of adventure, but also giving the Dark Knight some time out of the spotlight. Which is which is also really cool because of the fact that, you know... Oh, yeah, and by the way, this is all from ScreenRants.com. Yes, yeah, so... All this information is from ScreenRants, and the other information is from... Comic Vine, I believe. No, ComicsAlliance.com. Okay. Both are good researches. I go to Screen Rant, like, daily, pretty much. They also have a YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so, um, not only did the Green Arrow have a lot of the same tech as Batman, but his character traits mirrored those of Bruce Wayne during the 40s. Both had their alter ego-centric cars and devices that aided them in their crusades against crime lords and drug dealers. Um, and as Batman grew to take on villains that were larger than life, Green Arrow has always focused more on the street-level crime fighting of an everyday vigilante. It wasn't until the 60s that Green Arrow was able to come out from under the shadow of Batman and really begin to grow into his own character. Although they still have similarities, Ollie has thrived by remaining a street-level vigilante. The next fact is Green Arrow has gadgets galore. I'll read this one now. All right. Many people recognize Green Arrow for his signature use of the boxing glove arrow. Many people no don't know that, like Batman, Ollie actually has a plethora of different gadgets that he uses. Many are trick arrows, but he has he has had other gadgets as well. These allow him to get out of many, many dangerous situations. And he has his Arrow family, which functions similar to the Batman family, get into as well as remind the audiences that he is so much more than a man in a mask. Some of my favorite um, uh, trick arrows that Green Arrow has used. These are not mine. These are the people on Screen Rants. Some of their favorite trick arrows um, uh, are the explosive EMP, foam, bolo. What's a bolo? Bolo. It's both. It's bolo. Ah, grappling and grappling arrows. 
there have been many other trick arrows, m many of which are ridiculous. Like, you think that bat shark repellent was ridiculous? That they get crazy. Anyway, um, uh, there. Um, let's see. But um, the more effective ones are used much more often. Some of the other gadgets that Ollie has at his disposal are his arrow car and aeroplane. Which um, function exactly as they sound. <laughs> yeah. uh, these were obviously used and created in correlation to Batman, but did serve as useful tools for Ollie to traverse Star City with greater ease. You know what? I wish that they did for the bat, for the, I mean, for the arrow wing. What? Um, I actually think that they should have called it like, um, uh, the, um, uh, feather or the notch for the arrow, or the arrowhead for the, for the plane, mm. and then for the car, it should have been, like, um, yeah, arrow car is the best thing they got. Actually, no, uh, aeromobile. Aeromobile has a nice ring to it. Mm. So, aeromobile and... Aero, what, what did I call it? Air, it's the aeroplane. But it should have been. Aero. It should have been called the. Whatever you called it a few minutes ago. <laughs> Whatever. Um. So. Uh, go back to the beginning of this scene and, you know, find out. Um. Ollie's son was Green Arrow too. Not Green Arrow two like the number two, but he was also Green Arrow at one time. Uh, you can find that out in um, the comics or just doing some research. We won't read that just so that we can also get to the other article for time's sake. Here's a really interesting one, which is really well brought out in the Justice um, League in the Justice show. League Unlimited um, uh, show. Wait, why does Batman have a sword in that picture? I don't know. Anyway, Oliver didn't always want to be a JLA membership, and you may have seen a girl in the picture, which would be Super awesome. Pink. Um, okay. JLA, oh. for those who had no idea, it's just as League of America. Yeah. Pretty simple. Well, I was actually, I actually became more um, uh, familiar with JLU before I came out, before I knew about JLA, which is really backwards when it comes to normalities. But, yeah, they do that a lot in um, the first ever Justice League Unlimited episode, which was called... Uh... Initiation. Initiation, that's what it was. It starts off with Green Arrow saying, You know what, guys? I'm flattered that you want me up there. But I'm just a small town guy. I don't want to be the the big guy that you want me to be. I, I can't do that. I have to... I'm, uh, wait, whoa, whoa, go up. I, I don't want to have to do this. Okay. What? But Green Arrow is a metahuman. It says, is Green Arrow a metahuman? Oh, that's a question. Yeah, that, that's why I skipped that one. Oh, well, okay. Never mind. All right. Oliver's dad made him Green Arrow. Um, This is also explored in um the Arrow show. Uh, Which I've never, ex yeah. never seen. I saw part of the first episode, but... Oh, yeah, guys. Um, by the way, uh, Green Arrow show... Don't go watch it no matter... Don't just click on it and watch it. It's not the best show ever. I've never heard anything really amazing about it. Although the Flash that connects to it is a great show. <laughs> product placement, even though it's not our product. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Okay. Um, you can read the first paragraph, I'll read the second one. And then I'll read the last one? Yep. Or do you want to read the last one? We'll see what okay. happens. Ollie was originally a social... <laughs> That's why I had you read this paragraph. I don't know how to pronounce the word. <laughs> Wait. Ollie was originally a socialite. That's what I'm going with. Okay. Who was changed after being stranded on a remote island and tortured. And, and tortured. This motivated him to become a vigilante when he returned to Star City. First of all, if I was put on an island and tortured, I'm not overly sure that that's the first thing that would come to my mind. I want to be a vigilante. Well, if you read on, it gets into, uh, his dad died, I think, on the island, too. So, like, that motivates Oh, uh, so he, want, he wants to, make first of all, make his dad proud, and he also wants to stop people from having, um, uh, 
from having that happen to them as well. Right. I think that tie could, into Batman. I think that could even be why he only fights street level crime because, because that's the only stuff that's gonna hurt the little. He 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 sticks to like the um. The suburbs he's, and stuff. Yeah, he, he sticks to the small guys. He sticks yeah. to defending the small guys. He lets the big guys like Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman and the Flash and Green Lantern and yada yada yada. Mister Fa- Mister Miracle, what's his name? Um, yeah. What's his name? What's Mister Miracle's name? Is that his name? Mister Miracle? There is a guy Mister Miracle. There's a guy named. The him. red guy. Uh, do you mean him or Red Tornado? There's. The guy who's m- from New Genesis. I think he's Mr. Mayor. Okay, anyway. We're just going to go through the rest of them. We're not going to get into a huge amount of right. detail just because um, of the fact that we're already that at one. 8 minutes. Uh, Green Arrow will kill. So, difference from Batman. Yeah, if it comes to... But that, he's, he's, but uh, there's a difference between will being willing to kill and being trigger happy. Exactly. Although in Arrow, he is... Where he will kill pretty much all the time for a while. They mm-hmm. change that later. Ollie is the best family man in DC. Which is something... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Green Arrow is a blue-collar billionaire. What's that? What's blue-collar? I'm not sure what a blue-collar billionaire is, so... Let's go with... Oh, his love for protecting the little man. Oh. Um, I guess. That's okay. what it looks like it is. He cares about... Oh, a blue-collar may be... I'm just pulling at strings that may not be supposed to be put together, but um, I think that um, uh, maybe Blue Collar might be, like, police officers. Like, he's yeah, probably. he's into protecting people. and uh, or, so, may, or maybe it's something that, like, when they prop their collars up, it means that they're, like, they, 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 they're just, I don't know. Um, so that was all from Screen Rant. Um, let's, let's, then, go, let's quickly go over the yeah, we'll quickly go Comic over, Alliance. Yes. Um... All right, uh, so this, let's see. This one looks like it's a little bit harder to find. Um, out. let's see. Uh, you can check out this. You know what? I... These are just videos. So I guess, sorry, not from Comics Lines. Although you can watch that video if you want to. We will not watch it. Mm-hmm. Um, for this video at least. But those were uh ten facts that you probably didn't know about Green Arrow. Maybe you did, and if so, great for you. But uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, follow us on Google Plus. Hashtag Hashtag Dividend 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 First. Live long and prosper, prosper. and have a really. I don't remember what. Have a really really random. Oh yeah, have a really really random day. See you around.